Project Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can blend two pieces of type, uh, same type. So I've got one logo and I've got logo down here. Select both of those and go to the Blend tool. Now I'm going to click on there, just bring up the options. I'm going to go for specified steps. Now you can go for 200, 100. I'm going to go for 100. Click there, click there. And straight away you've got this nice sort of zoom design. Now what you can do, just go to the direct selection tool and just move it around. So you can move that, if you want to move it, zoom it out that way, or zoom out that direction, and so on and so on. Just move it around till you're happy with the position. Of course, you can go down to that one, move that out there as well. Once you can, you'll actually see now what you can do, you can change the color. So I'm gonna go for maybe pink or white, and so on and so on. And maybe change this one as well. So I'll go up here and I'll maybe make that blue. So you can create a whole range of different designs very quick and easy that way. There's also a spine here as well. So you can just actually select that spine and then just move that around as well. But what you can also do, you can actually just go down to, I'm just going to quickly go to the add anchor point. I'm just going to click an anchor point there and click an anchor point there. A couple of anchor points. And then go to the direct selection and hover there and you can just drag that out and make that drag that up that way. And of course, maybe you actually might want to uh, increase the uh, number of steps at this point. I'm not going to do that. You can also use sort of smooth tool there. Just actually round tool, I mean, to actually round the corner. Right, to make it a nice smooth path. Now, what you can also do, you can actually add another spine to that. So actually, instead, I'm just going to go with this curvature tool. So I'm just going to click there. Well, I've actually added it to this existing one. Now, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Click there, then there, 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 and there. Nothing particularly amazing as a curvature. And select that and that. So you've got all of the design selected. And then just go to Object and Blend and replace fine. And then you can see now you've got this logo design sort of going up and down. Of course you can use any other sort of path as well, like maybe a spiral design, star design, much, much more. So great way of going. And again, of course, you can still manipulate it. So you can actually select that and you can still go up there and you can tweak that and make that go around and create again a whole range of different sort of logo designs. I'm going to stop at that point. And what I'm going to do, it's still live, so that's the key thing here. I actually go to the Blend tool, double click on that, say 100, you can go 300. Maybe it might be a bit slower, but you can see 300 there. And again, so you just go over to the Direct Selection, and you can select that one, and maybe go make it black, and then you can see it go all the way around there. And of course, once you've actually done that, what you can do, if you're actually happy with that design, it's not maybe the greatest of designs, but you can drag the whole thing, and I'm just going to go there, select that, and then drag that into the libraries. And then you see you've stored it away some artwork, which you can then, of course, use in maybe like Photoshop. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.